fourth problem of the CLEB practice test asks us to find the solution set to the system where we have two linear equations. Note that they are linear because x and y in both of these equations are to the first power. And whenever you're finding the solution to two linear equations, you can think of it geometrically as just finding on the graph where two lines intersect. So a lot of times it's just simply at some point, maybe here, though sometimes the lines don't intersect at all and they're parallel to each other. And the other option is that the lines might be right on top of each other, which will give us an infinite amount of solutions. And with problems like this, there are a couple ways to solve it, though in this particular instance, I'll use the substitution method. So to do that, I'll take this second equation here and just solve for y, and then plug that value of y into the y in the upper equation. So from the second equation to solve for y, I just need to add 3 to each side. So y is minus 3x over 2 plus 3. And then if I plug this into my first equation, I would have 3x plus 2 times this new value of y, which is negative 3x over 2 plus 3. I put it all in parentheses, and this is equal to 6. And to solve this, I just need to simplify this parentheses here. So 3x plus, and I'm going to distribute the 2 to each of these. So distributing it to the first term, the 2 in the numerator and the denominator cancel. I'm just left with minus 3x, and then the 2 distributed to the 3, I get plus 6, and this equals 6. And notice something interesting happens here. The 3x and minus 3x cancel, and what we're left with is that 6 equals 6. So when you get something like this, that's always true. This just means that we have an infinite amount of solutions. And so what we found, going back up here to the original system, is that these two lines are actually the exact same line. So we get this case where the lines are right on top of each other.